Spades. Go swim. So to introduce the dog to the pool, we had Turvy accidentally fall in here once before. So the best advice here, obviously Spades knows what to do, is that we want to show him how to get in. But more importantly, good boy. When he freaks out a little bit, teach him how to get back out of the pool. So doing this on the lead at first to give the extra security. Good boy. Now, I'm not going to do too many reps of this now, but if I can give one or two more extra ones, he goes out a little bit, he comes back in, he goes out, comes back in, and then over time, I would go further and further away from the pool, so that way there, wherever it is that he falls in, if he falls in all the way over there, he knows that this is a place to get him out rather than spinning around circles in the middle of the pool. Spades, go swim. Maybe we'll do one more rep of this. Swim. Go. However you like, I don't mind. Go on, Turvy. So he does his little swim around. See how he doesn't know what to do here and he freaks out a little. Turvy, here you go, buddy. And this is the best. Not every pool obviously has this. So most pools have just the step only and we do the exact same process from the step. But it's a no brainer here that we do it from here, then we do it from the step. So that's a tip of how to introduce a dog to the pool. Um, and then when the kids are here, have them in the water too, gives them a bit of extra security, hence why spades yeah. will take any opportunity to go for a swim. Yeah. But at least it um, gives, gives him a bit more of a confidence boost. Now, it doesn't look like he's super psyched about going in the water, but he has fallen in before, so we'd, just for safety. If you don't, like, that's why Nooka's on the outside there, because she cares not much for water, so I don't have to force her or anything. Um, so yeah, that's that.